Let's get this ready. Our next comedian, come to the stage, a club favorite. Please hear it for Rob Anderson. Oh, Rob Anderson. Yeah. How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah. I know the point is racist is heating up. You know, both candidates have chosen Roy Mace, and you're probably expecting me to crack a few jokes on him, but I'm not going to do it. I do not do political jokes. I'm sorry. I've seen way too many of them get elected. <laughs> but I will say one thing. I definitely dig McCain's choice for VP, Sarah Palin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time since the American people have had a VP that they wouldn't mind seeing naked. <laughs> Not since the glory days of Spiro Agnew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it raises a very promising idea that if McCain does get elected, that instead, when the Iraq War run, runs out of funding, instead of raising taxes, they can just come out with a pictorial calendar. You know, women of the White House. <laughs> Now, you know, you'll have Sarah Palin, you'll have Monica Lewinsky, you'll have Madeline Albright, the very sexy Barbara Bush, you can put her in red, white, and blue bikinis, put her on the desert of Iraq and have a, a, a photo shoot. They can keep that war going for at least another 10 years. And Sarah Palin, I would definitely go over to her house for some milk and cookies. So, um, <laughs> you guys hungry? Yeah. Sure. You want a hairy bagel? No! Oh, yes. yeah, I'm a fat... I'm a fat man. I finally realized it. You know, I used to be in a fat man denial. I refused to buy a pair of pants that fit me. Instead, I kept on, you know, trying to squeeze into the size 28 waist I wore in high school. Whoa. It was so tight, it looked like they were painted on. I just assured myself, you know, I put on a little weight over the holidays in 1998. I tried to lose weight, though. You know, I, I went to the gym the other day, spent 20 minutes on the treadmill. Not a lot, you know, I'm working my way to it slowly. I figure, you know, in a few weeks when I build my sand up there, I might actually plug the treadmill in. My, uh, my self-esteem isn't really that high, especially with women. I mean, whenever I am with a girl, I like to pretend I'm somebody else. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I, I haven't gotten laid in so long, I think my virginity has actually grown back. <laughs> it sucks. I mean, there's a lot of reasons I don't get women. I mean, you know, I'm overweight, I'm balding, I don't make a lot of money, but I think a lot of it has to do with the fact of uh, my, my nickname. You know, people with the last name Murphy, what do you, you call him Murph? People with the last name Schmidt, you call him Schmitty? My last name's Anderson, so what do you think it is? <laughs> exactly, it's fucking dirt pop. <laughs> you know, it's not Andy, it's not Ando, it's not A-Train, that would be fucking sweet, but it's fucking dirt pop. I'm named after the soiled hoof of a wild animal. <laughs> When my friends say us, you know, a term of affection, of endearment, bullshit. God, Godfather, your honor, those are terms of endearment. Dirt paw is just something you tell somebody when you never want them to get laid again. And uh, I haven't, so I guess the joke's on me, huh? Hey, yeah. But my roommate more than makes up for it. I mean, he gets, he gets laid enough for the both of us, but he's such a fucking slob. I mean, he'll, wherever he is, he'll just take the condom off and fucking throw it wherever. Whether it's in the bedroom, his kitchen, the bathroom, basically st strategically placed all around my apartment, like it's some kind of fucking perverted Easter egg hunt. <laughs> but you do not want the cream out of these Cadbury eggs. Oh! Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I, I never get laid, but... They say you can tell. They say you can tell how you know a girl shaves her private areas by her eyebrows. You know if they're thin and neat, uh, neatly trimmed, she probably takes care of herself down there. 
But I've been thinking bushy, she probably doesn't give a fuck. You know, it's probably down there like 70s porno bush, hit the hit, the belly button, the asshole. <laughs> you need a machete and a herd of elephants to find a hole. I love the girls that have no hair down there, you know, just completely shaved. So, I mean, I kind of spend all my free time hitting on chemotherapy patients and bird victims. <laughs> Imagine I'm a big fan of beer, you know. Yeah! It's the reason I wake up every afternoon. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I've been drinking a lot lately. Like I got really fucked up the other day. I mean, I don't really remember much, but you know, you're drunk when you do body shots. <laughs> Out of your buddy's colostomy bag. Yeah! But I had to tone it down because uh, I got a DWI recently, which you know kind of sucks. Ooh, but. Yeah, yeah, I learned from it though, because I'm proud to say I no longer drink <laughs> at night. <laughs> now I drink in the morning. It's much safer that way. You can do as shit fast as you want and drive anywhere because they don't have too many DWI checkpoints at 9 a.m. on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, what else? Um, the Wednesday night, baby, let's go. <laughs> well, I'm fucking poor. I'm poor, you know. I didn't realize how broke I was till I started having to reuse condoms. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I had to fish my shop out of the marble catalog, which actually isn't so bad because the US economy is so shitty right now that the marble miles is actually traded on an even scale with the dollar. <laughs> I was on the throughway the other day. You know, I didn't have enough money for the toll. It was five dollars and ten cents. I, I had to pay the guy in a five dollars crash off when he had two in two empty beer cans. I told him, you know, he was gonna have to work a little for this time. Uh, yeah, I'm currently living in Soho, which is kind of cool. But yeah. I'm, I'm living in Soho because that's where my car broke down. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's in a parking garage in Soho. I mean, if it figures you're going to live in your car, it might as well be in a nice area. In the Bronx. You know, people rip on it, but I don't really mind living in my car. I mean, my rent right now, dirt cheap. $14.95 a day if I'm on by 6 p.m. That's it! Hell yeah, so I'm all over that. I'm thinking about staying there a while. I might actually have my mail forwarded for my last address, uh, mile marker 13 in the South Mall Parkway. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, you need to be much more resourceful when you're broke. You know, like, I like to put together puzzles. I always have, you know, when I was a kid and shit, but I can't afford that shit nowadays. Puzzles are like $15. So what I do is I, you know, when I get home, I just pop all the keys off my keyboard and see if I can, you know, put it back together in the right order. <laughs> and also, you know, you, you gotta make up, when you're poor, you gotta make up for shit that you can't afford. Like, you may think this is just a rubber band. You call it a rubber band, I call it a Lance Armstrong bracelet. Yeah. Slide it up a little bit more. Oh. It fell off, but it's an armband for your iPod. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite is I present to you. Oh. Oh. The, the hands-free cell phone. It went yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot for having me.